What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're talking about Scream 6 in this video here today. So the first reactions for Scream 6 have been released on Twitter. Everybody's going crazy about it. And like you see in the thumbnail and in the video title, they are pretty great for the most part. Now, of course, without people mentioning some of the negatives that it might get into more specifically next week when the full embargo list on Wednesday. But I'm going to kick it off and get into these uh, amazing glowing reactions that are coming out from uh, the, the individuals who have seen it over on Twitter. And just to kick it off from Nate Adams, Scream 6 takes interesting and thrilling leaps from its predecessors. It has bigger chases, bloodier and gruesome deaths, plus a killer opening sequence. Enjoyed seeing these characters again in a fun addition to the series that has plenty of Easter eggs fans will admire. Number two, here we have Preston Barta. Scream 6 waves one mighty red right hand. What a damn blast. It's a... It's more about what's going on in the characters' heads than the sharp objects that enter it, delivering a refreshing entry with deep emotional nicks. Jenna Ortega is the film's greatest weapon. Then we have Viewer Anon. Shout out to Viewer Anon. It says here, I've seen Scream 6, and if you're in for if you're in it for the characters' kills, chases, and scares, you're gonna love it. I think it's the weakest killer and motive in the franchise, but it doesn't matter much when the whole movie is this ridiculously fun. What I will chalk that up to is the simple fact that there are several people who have this thought about the original movie. And when I say several people, I'm not talking about they're the majority, but there are a few, few people who I know that think that Scream is a well-crafted horror film, that original, but they are not too fond of the motive. Not that it's completely like dull or anything, but they're just not fond of the motive. And I know a lot of people feel that way about the sequel. So again, if you're really just going into these movies caring about the motive, in some regard, you might be setting yourself up for disappointment. And I will say this. There is no way that this motive is weaker than Charlie Walker's. There's there's no way. Or even Stu's. I mean, let's be serious. Another one we have here is Matt Warbeck. Scream 6 is an absolute blast and probably my second favorite entry in the franchise. The perfect blend of violence, commentary, comedy, and camp. The trademark meta-ness is clever and targets film franchises. Consistently kept me guessing. Might also have my favorite opening. Uh, another one here, Adriano. Scream 6 has the meta commentary and brutal kills you expect from the franchise, but while the setup suggested interesting commentary on the genre, it would it would be a big misdirect. It wound up being a big misdirect. And while it didn't retcon the fun I had, it made me question the intent of the movie altogether. Now, another person here, Jesse Camacho. Scream 6 is a blast, only it gets going or once it gets going, save for a couple nice tender moments, it rarely lets up. Fun twist too. There are nitpicks for sure, but I really loved it. Can't wait for fellow fans to see it. Radio Silence does it again. A very worthy entry to the franchise. And then you have here Dang Daniel Baptista, uh, or Baptista. Scream 6 is a sharply written and tactically directed thriller that twists expectations with every turn. It's a love letter to the Scream franchise featuring a fantastic cast and heart-pounding suspense. Jenna Ortega slays, and Ghostface has never been more terrifying. We have another individual. Scream 6 keeps the long-running franchise energized with brutal gut splicing kills and tight action. The twists keep you on the edge and the bloody new faces are a welcome addition. Jenna Ortega and Jasmine Savoy are favorites. This ghost face, this is ghost face at their best. We have another individual, Big Screen Leaks. Shout out to Big Screen Leaks. Scream 6 is a damn good time in true sequel fashion. It's bigger, bloodier, and scarier. Scarier. Melissa Barrera, Jenna Ortega, Jasmine Sway, Brown, and Courtney Cox all give awesome performances, but Mason Gooding is the standout here. Watch out because Ghostface isn't playing any games. Then we have Chris, 3C Films. Shout out to 3C Films. Scream 6 is a brutal, bloody nail biter. New York is used to its full advantage, creating some of the best chases and suspenseful moments of the franchise. The old and new crew share great chemistry. I loved how different this sequel felt. I have my gripes for sure, but overall, solid. Then we have another individual, Scott, Scott, Scott Menzel. If you love Scream 5, you will love Scream 6. If you didn't, I don't think you will like this one. Personally, I have mixed feelings on it. I love Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega, but the storylines go too off the rails for me. I dug the opening scene and some of the bloody kills, but wasn't a fan of the twists and turns. They felt a bit too convoluted. I also found some of the dialogue to be laughable and not in a good way. A mixed bag for me, but it's sure to make a killing financially at the box office. Now, the, the critiques on the dialogue, you know... I wouldn't be too shocked if I ended up feeling the same way. There are some bits of dialogue in some of the later Scream movies. I'm just like, uh, 
could have done without that. But, you know, it's never been just so far off the rail, terrible dialogue consistently, I feel like, with this franchise. Never. There have just been those moments where I'm like, that that was terrible. But uh, here we have Dom Fisher. Scream 6 is exactly what you want it to be and more. The tone is darker while still maintaining that wit we love. The violence and gore has leveled up. The pacing is fantastic and performances are great. The franchise hasn't felt this tense or suspenseful since the original. And here we have Sweet and Sour. Scream 6 is another solid entry in horror's most consistent franchise. The scariest and darkest of the series thus far. The film takes a good amount of risk and adds some clever subversions that I did not see coming. Here we have here another individual, Richard. Scream 6 rules. It's better than its predecessors. Some crazy and gory kills and more mind-blowing twists that'll make you be on the edge of your seat. The movie focuses on the characters from the previous movie while adding new faces. And then we have another individual here. Scream is another, or Scream 6 is another welcome entry in the meta franchise. It's not perfect, but like all prior films, it's a blast that'll happily be added to my yearly rewatch rotation. Mason Gooding steals the show in this one. Uh, we have a few other individuals. I'm going to just round this out with the Hollywood handle. A Scream 6, a.k.a. Ghostface Fakes Manhattan, <laughs> is the best film since the original. The movie to be, the movie... Or the move to the Big Apple led to the most audacious set piece yet and is by far the most brutal of the series. Um, and then we have here... I'll round this out with Ashley Martinez who say that Scream 6 had me blown away. The opening kill was amazing. This movie was super gory and intense. So many suspenseful moments, very bloody. This one definitely is a great slasher film. It did not disappoint. So what are your guys' thoughts on all these great reactions? It seems so far we have here a very good opening, a movie that could be the best since the original. Uh, a lot of great suspense, a lot of great chase scenes, it sounds like. I didn't really see too many people really highlighting how, how good or bad no, not that it is going to be bad. How good, I would just say, because we know it's going to be good. How good uh, Melissa, Bur not Melissa, but Courtney Cox's Gail Weathers chase scene is going to be. And I'm really eager to see people's thoughts on that going into next week when the full embargo again lifts on Wednesday. You guys know I'm going to be seeing the movie myself on Tuesday night. I will have my thoughts up later that night once I get out of the theater, since we, of course, now know the social embargo has lifted. And then a few hours later at 3 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time, or if you're in California, 12 a.m. for you, I will have my spoiler-free review up for you to enjoy that. So again, what did you guys think about all of these reactions? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, what were your thoughts on that Demi Lovato Still Alive track that came out today as well? It was a great day for us as Scream fans. All these reactions make me excited. Again, don't really get too honed in on the nitpicks. No movie is perfect. Uh, let me know what you guys think all down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.